As you see the legend, you know what it means, it's leg day. Just want to guide you through the warm-up that I currently do. One of the biggest issues of my squats is hitting depth. And that is due to my pretty limited hip flexion. And this is a pretty nice exercise to work on the hip flexion. And that is the good morning. There are two things that I do on purpose to modify this exercise. I use a loop band around my knees to force this external rotation. Otherwise, if I go into hip flexion, my adductors pull the legs inside and slightly internally rotate them. And I want to work on opening the hips up, working with that external rotation. That's where I use the band to get that feedback. And another thing is that I have learned and taught myself the pattern that I always shift my center of mass back on the heels. And what I want to learn is that even though if I shift my center of mass backwards, as in an RDL or in a squat or in a good morning in that case, that I keep the load on the midfoot. So I want to keep my center of gravity really over the midfoot. And that board helps me to really feel my center of mass more shifted towards the front. Because if I don't do it, I do kind of do the good mornings. Like I could push my toes off, but this is not what I want. I really want to have midfoot pressure. With those two modifications, this works pretty well. I'm going to show you how it looks. Super exhausting. I do three sets of these 10 repetitions in a super set with some uh, cable abduction. Just really work on the rotators of the hip. Um, due to all squatting, I have a lot of abduction dominant movements in and I also want to get the abduction work just to keep the hips healthy. Of course, make sure to check all the products in the description. We have the belts back on stock. We have size S for the smaller athletes. We have size L, which is the regular old belt. Everything back in stock, so make sure to get yours. Also, super, super exciting to tell you this. Um, when you see this video, a couple of days ago, I made the final call for the book. So now it's going to be printed. And yeah, super exciting. So in three to four weeks, depending how long the production really takes, we will have all the copies here in the office. And then yeah, I can finally hold it in my hands. And as you can see, I'm super, super excited to show it to you and um, getting all the pre-order shipped, getting the ebook sent out. So yeah, super, super hyped. Hope you like it. Exercise number one today, high bar squats. And you just saw my body weight squat, just with the bar on the back. <laughs> and honestly, if I just have the bar on my back, it looks like I have never done a single squat in my life. As you see, not too mobile. I have pretty long upper leg. So if I squat to depth, with body weight only like that is barely the deepest I can go. If I go any lower, I fall backwards. So I need a certain amount of weight to squat to depth, first warm up set, now 17 kg, and then we're working our way up. And now you hopefully see some more beautiful squats with 70 kg. So that is the planned top set weight for today. High bar, five reps on 150 kg. RPE should be somewhat five. Lower would be better. Um, but yeah, let's see how it moves and then we will adjust for the further sets.
proper weight. Back off, sets of 7, 137.5 kg. Again, focusing on depth as that needs the most improvement. Last back off for today, still 137.5. Depth, depth, depth. What else should I focus on? I tend to push my feet like this so that I shift most of my weight to the outside. And that gives me not a pretty beneficial uh, position to really exert force in the floor. So what I'm trying to do is shift my load more to the inside that I really have it on the whole foot. So when I think of doing this, I end up having a pretty good stance. And yeah, that's actually all I focus on next to surviving the set. So let's do it. Next one on the list, three sets of leg press. Ramp my way up to 255 kg. Now aiming for 12 repetitions. It is planned to have a controlled eccentric, which will work pretty good for the first, not gonna lie, three to four reps, and then we see how the rest looks. So let's dive into it. Better than expected. Now, two more sets. Next new exercise in the rotation presented to you by your favorite fit chick, Michael. We're gonna have some hip thrust with a one count top pause for right, three sets, 10 repetitions. Last week did it the first time since forever started with 130 kg, this time 140 kg. Um, as you can put it similar strength wise to an RDL, to a deadlift, I know that 
you know, week by week. Uh, I now can push at least five to 10 kilo more week by week, just getting used to the technique, uh, used to the load, and also used to the pain this exercise provides, uh, especially in, in the groin area. And yeah, as you see, I'm trying to expand my set pause by talking to you um, because I don't really want to do the set, but Last, not the last set for today, but the last set of laterals. I'm gonna use a drop set just to make sure I'm getting real close to failure as it's pretty hard with those exercises to really push your boundaries and a drop set can help to really accumulate that stimulus and to really push harder to the borders. And with exercises where you have like really objective light loads, uh, you can really go to failure and like beyond without risking any injury if you know what you're doing. So yeah, I'm gonna use the cuffs here because it just helps me to focus more on the laterals. In the starting position, I try to have like roughly 90 degree in between my forearm and the cable. So I have the biggest stimulus on the length and position of the muscle. And then I just go as much upwards as feels comfortable. Very good tip that helped me with my laterals is try not to focus on lifting it upwards because it's a lateral raise. So try to lift it to the side because what happens if you focus on getting it up is that you tend to start with shrugging the shoulder like this. And this is something we want to avoid. We want to keep the scapula naturally moving upwards and not excessively shrugging it. And if you focus on pushing to the side, that usually happens automatically. But now enough talking, let's get some training in.
Oh, hope you can see the cramping from the flex. Ah. <laughs> Hallelujah. 